Hello and welcome to Glitter Shine Nails. I recently purchased four of the five new Valentine's Born Pretty stamping plates that have recently come out. And in this video, I'm going to be swatching and reviewing them. You can find all the information on these plates on where I purchased them from in the description box below. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you have the bell notification on. And please also like this video. These really help out my channel. Thank you. I'll be using my favorite scraper along with my clear small stamper and my Born Pretty dual white and clear stamper of which I'll be just using the clear head. I very rarely use the white. I have four coloured nail tips which I'll be swatching onto and I'm going to start with Valentine's Day BPL001 and I'm going to be using this burgundy nail tip first. I'll also be using Born Pretty Pearl White Stamping Polish which is number 54 for this swatch. Now I am only going to take one swatch from each plate otherwise I do think this video could be really long and I'm going to go for this rose lace image. I'll go into further detail in the photo swatches about the plates but I have to say I love this nail tip. The burgundy and pearl white I think looks amazing together. I'll now use Valentine's Day BPL002. And this plate has some layering images at the top. For this swatch, I'm going to be using my small clear stamper along with a sparkly pink nail tip. And I'm going to be using the Cerise pink and black stamping polishes. And I'm actually going to start with the black first. I'm going to go for the this rose design here. I've also recently just found that with flower layering images like this, that I have a better outcome if I lay the stem down first. If I pick up any excess, I'll just remove it with my lint roller. Now, I'm not sure the black was the right color choice for this, but it looks good against the nail tip though. Now, I'm going in with the Cerise Pink stamping polish for the flower, and I'm just gonna repeat the same again. As I'm not just using black for my swatches, I'm going to try to use as many different stamping polishes that I have so that you can see them being used a bit more. But I really like this rose. It sort of reminds me of the Beauty and the Beast rose. I'm now going to use Valentine's Day BPL 003 and I'm going to use this red nail tip even though it does look a little on the orange side and I'm going to be using this white stamping polish and I'm going to go in for this large flower here I think it looks so pretty and then once I've picked it up I am actually going to remove any excess that I've picked up that I don't want before placing down but it's such a pretty image and you could really easily colour this whole flower in. It, oh, I really do like this image. And now the final stamping plate, Valentine's Day BPL004. And I'm going to be using the purple nail tip this time along with a silver stamping polish. And I'm going to go for these rose image here. Now, it's not normally a colour combo for roses. However, I think it really works quite well. And I definitely know that I would wear it like this. And here they are all together. The first two roses I think have to be my favourite out of them all. So I'm now going to move on to my photo swatches. And I'll show all of the manis that I've made for each plate as well. I'll begin with Valentine's Day BPL01 first and there is 12 quite large images on this plate. It's mostly floral but there is also a couple of heart images and then there is that amazing script design. Now I have used the same stampers as you've just seen me use for all of these photo swatches. When I swatch a plate like this I normally always work from left to right 
Now, I don't honestly make a lot of floral manis personally, but I really do like every single image from this plate. And even though it's Valentine's plate, you could easily make some stunning spring floral manis from this plate as well. One of the swatches, I couldn't really get a clean swatch of it, and it's the pink on pink swatch. Now, one thing I will say for these plates is that for me, I found them to be super engraved. And you would have seen me use quite a bit of polish in the live swatching. This just helps me fill all of the image with polish. But I really like these swatches and I would probably use some of them for colour combos for manis. And I can show what I mean by that when it comes to my mani because I actually used one of the swatches. I loved the red base with the white roses so I wanted to change it slightly and I used a sparkly ruby red glitter nail polish for the base and I still wanted to stamp in white but for the thumb and ring finger I added the script image as well and I have to say these two images work so nicely together and I have to say again this is a money I didn't want to take off I loved it that much. On to Valentine's Day BPL002 and as I said at the beginning there are some layering images which I'll get into in a minute but at the bottom there is six really large designs. These are all lined images. When using images like this I find that scraping the way the lines go really helps for a really good clean pickup. I do think that this is the first layering plate from Born Pretty, I might be wrong, but there is 17 designs and I have to say they work really nice to work with. I've just gotten really into layering stamping and this is a really nice plate with them and they were quite easy to get on with which one went with which one. I did think that the pizza slice was a little random though. I do find that I get on better with the small stamper for layering smaller images. And I am getting much better at this. And this plate would be great if you want to try layering without buying one of the really large expensive plates. And to be fair, I really couldn't tell the difference between one of the large ones I have from other companies to this one. It was really easy to work with. I would now like to see Born Pretty bring out a few more of these layering plates. So again, I took inspiration from one of my swatches. So I found this gorgeous purple nail polish. Because I wanted to do some layered roses, I chose to go with the silver and then use a pink as well. For the thumb and the pinky, I used just one image, which was the lined one. But when it came to the second color, all I did was turn the stamper around. Now I was unsure to start with with this Manny, but I have to say I do actually quite like it. It's very unusual for me. On to Valentine's Day BPL003. And this plate is just filled with small images. Now I only use my small clear stamper for these and there is over 35 designs on this plate, which I would probably say they are wedding anniversary, along with Valentine's as well inspired. And I absolutely love the silhouette images. They came out so well. I do think that these designs would be good to add on to any love style money. I know that when I go to a wedding later on this year, this is probably the plate that I will turn to for some of the images. One thing that I did like was I found that there was a nice amount of space between the images so you can really cut down the amount of excess that you might remove. The two rosed images on the left hand side at the bottom, I wasn't totally happy with them. It could have just been the colours I used but yeah I really was not impressed with them at all. Now you might think I'm a bit strange, but I also look at this plate as a story plate. 
you could create a great love story across your nails would probably use the silhouettes you could go with they met they fell in love they got married can you tell that I love nails so on to the money and I'm gonna again take inspiration from one of the swatches now I don't normally do this all the time takes inspiration from my swatches but I have done for this video for some reason I loved the pink nail with the white heart for the middle and thumb I actually made my own design with one of the small roses I just kept randomly placing it and I love them I don't think I've ever done anything like that before and I will definitely definitely do it again I also used the link heart as well for the pinky and I think this is so so pretty and finally on to Valentine's Day BPL 004 there is a great mix of designs from the tiny unicorns to the bucket of hearts to the large images on the bottle but there is 24 designs in total now I personally don't see this as a Valentine's plate but it's still a really nice plate to use though I don't do Valentine's anyway so to me I don't look at Valentine's plates like that there was a fifth plate but I really didn't like the images on that which is why I didn't purchase it I just felt they didn't work really well on a stamping plate which is a shame but that's just my personal thoughts all of these plates have been so nice to work with and I can't wait to return to make some more manis. Now I know I only did four live swatches at the beginning. I'm still working out how many to do when I've got a video that contains multiple plates. If you've got any thoughts on that, drop me a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think. I would probably say that if you like Born Pretty Plates, then you'll love these ones as well. And I am so, so happy with all of my swatches that I've done. So I actually can't believe that I've done this for every money for this video. But again, I've taken inspiration from one of the swatches. I love the pink with the purple stamping, but I again wanted to slightly change it. So I went for a light shimmery pink, but I still use the dark purple. I think this Born Pretty stamping polish is number 34, but I just picked some images that I thought would work really well together. This also shows how big the two little people are and the bucket of hearts as image as well. I did have a fail at one of the little hearts on my pinky though, so please excuse that. But again, I really do like this Manny. I've loved them all to be fair. So thank you for viewing my swatch review on these four Born Pretty Valentine's Day stamping plates. I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you did, then I would love it if you could give me a thumbs up, comment below, I love to hear from you. Hit that subscribe button and share. Also, don't forget to come over and follow me on my Instagram page at Glitter Shine Nails. There is a link in the description box. So until next time, happy stamping and bye.